hello friends welcome back to my channel and in this video i will tell you about uh, a sql error so the error is no operation allowed after a connection closed so actually why this error happened and how to avoid this kinds of error in future so this video is all about the jsp best practices so i have uh, uh, too many too many videos in my channel and uh, you can um, go through them and uh, check out the source code and there you can see that i haven't uh, closed the connection after doing a uh, mysql operation so let's go to my github and uh, there is a open source project which is jsp commerce and from there i would like to share the example so let's go to my github so on my github and uh, this is my jsp e-commerce project and in this project you can see that i have a product dao and in this dao and we are uh, uh, retrieving all products and uh, using trikas block to handle exception but finally we didn't close our uh, connection so because uh, on on this class level we are uh, getting that connection and uh, we should close this connection finally using the finally block so actually let me uh, tell you that why you should close this connection actually it leads the connection memory leakage and uh, if the application server or web server is shut down connection will remain activate even though the user already locks out and um, also uh, also suppose uh, that uh, the database server has 100 connections available and 100 end users are requesting for the connection and uh, if the database server grants all of them after their uses uh, they are not closed the database server would not be able to provide a connection for another request so there is the limitation so that's why you should uh, close the connection after performing a mysql operation okay so uh, for that uh, let's get into my ide so here you can see that there's the error from the console so which is at uh, jdbc exception sql error so no operation allowed after the connection closed so uh, let's uh, get uh, into this project actually how i designed this project and how to resolve the issue so i will uh, tell you the all in details okay so far uh, this is a very very simple project and here I am not writing to any code but I will share this source code in my blog so you can just uh, go to my blog this is uh, tutorial.dev I recently just changed the domain name and uh, I am just working on it but I hope you will get it soon and here you will get the source code and when i publish the video yes uh, the link will be in the description so check the source code link in the description okay let's say uh, uh, expand this source code it so it's a very basic uh, java application so it's not a web application although but uh, that is enough to explain the issue i think so so here is uh, we have our main.java file so here i have a few operations so first operation is that we have a method that is going to uh, add a item to our database <coughs> and then we have another method uh, that is um, uh, get all the to do's item from the database and for the views purpose i am uh, doing a for loop to show the items properly so this is from the main uh, java app so main file and uh, we have a db connection so the uh, let's, uh, let's check out the to do model so actually it, this is uh, nothing much here just we have an id and title and you are familiar with that if you go through my all tutorials on my channel about java servlet related so i hope you are very much familiar about java bean so here just a id and title and getter and setter and is to string method nothing much or nothing fancy here and then we have a data access object which is dao so in this dao we have a few local variables 
uh, which is our connection and uh, uh, query uh, string type and prepared statement from Java SQL. So please uh, make sure that uh, you are importing the correct uh, statement from Java SQL and we have results here. Okay, and we have a constructor. So in this constructor, this is a uh, here I have a comment out that this is a class level connection in instantiation. So basically, when we are going to call this class, this class record a connection. So this connection um, uh, uh, and this is uh, this class is going to get the connection from our dbcon class so i will go through that dbcon class and but let's uh, go through this um, method we have here so this is a class level instantiation and here is nothing wrong this is completely okay so this is and developer choice so how you would like to use it okay and another method is like that uh, this is an method level instantiation instantiation so here you can see that um, in tricase block you i'll have commented out that uh, uh, connection so you can also uh, get the connection in method level this is uh, this one is also a best practice here is nothing wrong so it's up to you how you are going to use the connection okay and uh, here we are just doing a my uh, mysql operation which is uh, going to insert a data to the database yeah i have a database so i am not going through the mysql workbench to check out that data but okay that's just simple and here is a mysql query that is going to insert a data and you know that we are use the prepared statement to prepare the query to avoid injection sql injection or something like that and uh, for security purpose and execute the update and finally uh, uh, and if there is any issues we catch the exception and uh, finally uh, we are going to check if that uh, connection is not null then close the connection then if the prepared statement is not null then close the prepared statement and uh, so forth and we also can close the uh, result set and here i am not going to close the result set because uh, we are not using result set in this method okay so that's why i i put that empty so here i just use a tricast block and then uh, we're using a condition to close the connection and prepare the statement and then finally return the status okay that okay the data has been saved okay, this is uh, this is a method uh, to add to do and we have another method which is uh, the, uh, retrieve all the to do's from our database so here is the same thing uh, we have a, a method level instantiation so it's up to you i'm using the class level instantiation so that's why i comment out this method level instantiation just uh, to explain you i didn't uh, remove them okay and here we have a mysql query that is uh, going to select all the query or all the to do's from our to do table and then uh, we are using prepared statement and then result set to execute and uh, while uh, rs.next when we have all the data so we are creating a to do's and then uh, add them to our array list and finally uh, and here's the cache block to handle exception and finally we are uh, closing the connection uh, result set and um, uh, connection uh, here we also uh, write down our prepared statement so if uh, uh, pst is not equal to null then we can also pst dot uh, close yeah. we can also close the prepared statement here also okay and uh, finally then we are returning the to do's and here yes of course so you must need to handle the exception uh, to close this connection okay so this is the best practice so uh, this is the way uh, you we can uh, close our database connection or if there is open prepared statement connection or results okay so this is the best practice when you are going to uh, build a big application and you must follow these rules so in my channel uh, uh, i haven't used that uh, because those videos are intermediate and beginner level so i i didn't talk much about more the advanced things so but uh, when you're going to uh, build a large application or enterprise level application you must follow these rules okay you must close the database connection and i already mentioned that 
while you should close that uh, connection okay so now let's uh, uh, go to our database uh, database uh, connection file and which is the most important to design your connection structure so how you would like to design your connection structure so let's uh, go back to our dbcon file so uh, here i have uh, two methods okay so here is a static method which is a default is default constructor so this is a class level instantiation i already mentioned that so when you're going to uh, call this dvcon connection so it will execute this constructor and it will create a connection for you so this is a another level okay and here what i am doing that uh, i'm trying to uh, close the connection here so if it's not null and finally so it's a very 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 bad practice so uh, because uh, it will create the connection and when it will check that hey that connection is not now so it will close the connection okay so this is this is not uh, the accepted so i'm going to remove this uh, try block from here uh, sorry finally block from here so this is our static method uh, which is uh, class name for driver and this driver manager is uh, managing the connection and here you can see that uh, this our connection is a local variable and it's private and uh, here i have a method if that's connection so this is perfectly fine it's connected to the database but this have an issue so what the issue is like that when i am calling this connection get connection method so if i goes back to my DAO class so you can see that we are calling our get connection method so on connection method what it's uh, getting what it's doing so it's checking the instance okay so okay so it's checking hey my instance is not null so say it's uh, instance is null then it's uh, creating a new instance okay and this new instance is going to uh, uh, give you a connection okay so uh, this connection is okay so you are getting the connection and returning the connection that's completely fine but what happened here so this uh, when you are uh, when you are uh, calling this connection again so uh, so when you are calling this method it actually execute this constructor by default and when it's going to execute that constructor it's checking hey uh, i have an instance okay so it's it's not uh, it's not returning null on that time so it's returning hey you have that instance already instantiated so i'm returning the connection okay so it's returning the connection when it's written the connection it's found that hey uh, in previous operation you have uh, you already closed your connection so uh, uh, you are not allowed to perform any mysql operation after closing your connection okay so uh, this is the best practice we have followed so here is the error you will get so in fast operation you can see that oh, hey you have uh, uh, connected your database so that means it's uh, perform that operation so it's uh, uh, it's perform this uh, add operation okay and then uh, it will uh, list out when it's going to list out all the to do's then it's returning this error yeah, let me uh, let me run this application and check for you so uh, okay let me comment out this one and uh, uh, save this file and run the application so uh, you can see that uh, i have uh, nine items here so this is a flip uh, to do operation and uh, uh, here it's a listing that all data from here but what if if i just uh, uncomment this option and uh, let's say it's 10th icon 10th to do and save the file and uh, run out this application uh, okay run out this application and yes you can see in fast connection it's uh, connected and then in second method it's written that alert so if i uh, comment this out and uh, run the application again so you can see that we have uh, added that uh, 10 10 to do in our list okay so this is the error and this is uh, this is the error and uh, uh, how we can solve this error so for that let's uh, go back to our connection class so what we have to do so here that uh, we need to change our code here 
so uh, here you can see that uh, it's a local variable so we are returning this local connection okay so we are not going to create any instantiate for this class or uh, uh, for this so i'm going to comment out this uh, code and uh, here uh, i just uh, comment down this uh, approach and here i have another block of codes so in this block of course i am I'm going to uncomment it and here you can see that uh, uh, we are uh, trying to get the connection in here so uh, uh, instantiate that connection in constructor level in previous but here we are going to instantiate that connection in method level okay so and this method is going to return a local variable which is dbcon dot connection so instead of uh, dbcon you can also remove that and just to return the connection that is also fine so in this approach what will happen so it's always uh, uh, pointing this local variable so it's uh, close the connection then it's come again so it's by default it's null okay when it's null it's going to create the connection and return you the connection okay so uh, this approach will help you to avoid uh, uh, a SQL error that we have noticed in previous okay so now let's go back to our class and uh, just uh, comment out these and let's say we have 11 class and save and then run the application now you can see that we will add this method and finally we will list all the items and here you will not get any error okay so now run this application and yeah you can see that now we have two times connected so first time is that uh, it's uh, it get the connection on adding the to do and second time it get the connection when we are uh, returning the list okay when you are calling our second method which is get to do's method okay so the, this time it should go to the instantiate this DAO again and then you should go to the constructor level and okay check the connection hey i need the connection to do a operation in my sql so it's go to the our dbcon and it's dbcon checking hey my connection is null okay then uh, i'm returning you a new connection okay so it's a return you to a new connection okay so this is the best practice and i think so and i will recommend you to follow this uh, uh, process or procedure in your next application okay so fine uh, so uh, fine uh, that's all for this tutorial and i hope you enjoy this video and please make sure that you have subscribed to this channel and uh, hit the like button and share it with your friends and yes definitely if you have any question or concern uh, feel free to comment so i will respond to you as soon as possible